The next thing that we're going to do to edit and create our perfect website is to make the footer. Footer, like your feet, is at the bottom of the website. And we're going to edit this area right here and replace it with our own. So to do that, just click on Customize and scroll down and click Footer Bottom. Scroll down on the website and we're going to remove this part right here. But before we remove it, we're going to copy this date. So I know you could just type in 2017 or 2018, but it's better to copy the code for it because then when the year changes, you'll never have to change it again. It'll update automatically. So just copy it and we're going to uncheck enable footer bottom. That will make that bottom part go away. And now we can go back and now let's add a footer menu by clicking on menus and click add menu and let's name it footer and press create menu. Then let's press add items. And we're just going to add home about our work services and contact. All right, that will build our footer menu. So let's just press save and publish and exit out of there. Then let's go to our dashboard. And what we're doing here is a little bit different. We're going to create a template so that we can use it for the footer. And it'll make sense in just a second. So scroll down and go to theme panel and click my library. Then click add new and type in footer. For content layout, we want to do 100% full width. And for title, we want to disable. Then click publish. So this is going to allow us to put the footer, which is just a regular page, on each page. Now click edit with Elementor. And we're going to add a new section. And we're going to add three different columns. All right, so on the left side, I think we'll put our logo in the middle, maybe social media. And then on the right, we'll put the menu. All right, so let's click on the edit column button and for content width, let's do full width. So it goes all the way to the sides and for content position, let's do middle. So everything stays in the middle when we add in elements and everything else looks OK. But let's just be sure that the content goes all the way to the side by making the stretch section as yes. All right, then click advanced and for margin, let's just do zero so that there's no space on the top and bottom. And let's click on style and let's add in a background. So just go background type as classic and add an image. And we're just gonna add in our homepage image and press insert media. All right, so it gives it a nice blue color. For position, let's do top center. And for size, let's do cover. All right, that looks pretty good. Let's add some elements by clicking on the button and let's drag in a text editor. All right, we could get rid of all of this text and let's type in our copyright. So copyright, paste in that copyright code date. And we don't need to put 2017 because that puts it in there. And let's just put in our name or our company. All right, let's go to advanced and let's unlink the values. And for margin, let's do 15 on the top. And now let's click on content again. And let's make a space before our text and add media to insert our logo. Click on our logo and insert into post. All right, obviously that's way too big. So let's click on the edit button. Looks like a little pencil. And where it says medium, let's make it a custom size. And let's make it 25 by 25. So that'll make it really small. Press update. And we see how our text is going on a new line. We don't want that. So to fix it, just click a line left. Then the text will be on the same line. All right, we could get rid of a space. And we can make our logo a link so that it always links to the home page by clicking on it and then clicking link and putting in our URL. Make sure to do HTTP colon two forward slashes www.yourwebsite.com net org, whatever it is. Then click apply. And now that's a link. Now let's add a new element by clicking on the button and let's add social icons and let's add it to the middle column. And now we could click on Facebook and put in our Facebook page URL. And we can also add items and change this. Maybe I want to put in YouTube. So let's search for that. And then we could go to style to style it. And we could change the size. Maybe we want it 17 pixels. And we could also change the padding. Maybe we want it 0.5. And we could change the spacing too. Maybe we want it about nine pixels. All right, that looks good. Let's add another element. And let's search for menu. And there are two different menus here. So, hmm, I don't really know which one to choose. We'll just guess and try the second one. 
And for select menu, let's do footer because we already built our footer menu. And position, let's make it right so it floats to the right. And for menu padding, let's do five pixels. All right, that looks pretty good. Let's go to advanced and unlink the values. For right, maybe we want it to be 40 pixels because there's something to the right of it. And I'll show you that in just a second. All right, now we can click save and exit out of there and view our page. And we can see that that would look pretty good as a footer. So we can exit out of the page. And if we click on this icon, we can see what it looks like as a mobile version. And we can see that it looks pretty good, but it's not aligned to the center and things should really stack on top of each other a lot better. So let's fix that. Let's click the desktop version again and let's click on the duplicate button so we can duplicate it for the mobile version. And let's click on the edit column button for the top section and go to advanced and go to responsive and we are going to hide this on mobile. Now let's click on the bottom mobile section and go to advanced and go to responsive and hide it on desktop and tablet. So it only shows on mobile. All right, let's click on the edit column for the top section, go to advanced and go to responsive. Yes, I do have that right, okay. All right, now let's edit our mobile version. So we can click on the first column section and we could just click on the logo and press align center and highlight our text and align it center. All right, we can also click on the logo and press the pencil icon to edit it. And let's make it a little bit bigger. Let's do 45 and press update. All right, so that looks pretty good. Now the social icons are already centered, so that should work okay. But now let's click on the menu and go to advanced and make the margin zero. All right, now let's click on content for the menu. And for position, let's do center, so it's centered. All right, that looks pretty good, so let's click on save. And now that it's saved, we can exit out of there and view our page. And this is what it looks like for the desktop version. But if we go back to the home page, we can see that the footer isn't here because we haven't set the footer up as the footer. So to change that, just click on customize and scroll down and click on footer widgets. And if you scroll down under select template, you can choose footer. That's the template that we just created and it will show up. All right, but that looks kind of messed up. We definitely have a little bit more work to do. It was a good guess, but not right on. First, let's get rid of these black bars on the top and bottom. So under padding, let's go zero, put in a bunch of zeros. All right, that looks pretty good. And now let's click save and publish. All right, let's see what it looks like on the regular website. So let's exit out of there and we can scroll down and we see that it looks almost perfect. We see that the contact is a little bit messed up because it's covered by this button. And if you click on that button, it will scroll up your website for you. So it's pretty cool to have, but we don't want it that close. So we need to add a little bit more margin to the right of that contact button. All right, but let's see what it looks like mobily. And we can see that that looks pretty good. So we have all of that and it looks great. And if we click on the logo, it will go back to our homepage and it looks really cool. All right, but how do we change this right here, this contact? If we click on it, it'll obviously work and it'll be at the bottom of every page, which looks awesome, but it's still a little bit close for my liking. All right, so we can go to the dashboard and go back to theme panel and my library and click on footer, then click edit with Elementor. And for the top desktop version, we can click on that column, go to advanced, and let's make it maybe 45, press save. That's just a guess. Exit out of there, view the page, and go to the home page to check it out. And it still seems a little bit close, maybe five more pixels. So let's click on the page to edit it. Click it again, go to advanced, and maybe 50 pixels, that should do it, I really hope. Press save and refresh the home page by clicking on the tab and pressing refresh. And voila, it's looking pretty darn good. Let's see what it looks like mobily. And bam, it is looking great. All right, we can exit out of there and look at our page. It is looking really awesome. We can view our services and look at it. 
and it's looking really great. And our footer is in there looking very cool. We can click see us in action, which is the R work page. And we can see our footer in there also if we scroll down and that is looking really cool. And we could click on the contact and see that page all done with the footer in there looking awesome. And we can go back to the home page and we are all done creating our website. So I hope you really love it.